Welcome to MK Tech and welcome to a new segment that we have for you, 6 Minute Tech News. So I've decided to inform you about tech news to you all nerds and geeks out there. So without wasting much time, let's get right into it. So for first news, we're going to talk about the Xiaomi Mi Air Charge technology. Yeah, I know right, it's insane. How do you charge using air? Well, let me tell you how it, it, it charges. So. This is the new future of charging according to Xiaomi, right? It uses a system of about 144 antennas. So these antennas transfer energy to your smartphone in a form of extremely narrow millimeter wave beam. Within a few meters, it offers a 5 watt remote charging solution. It, support, it supports multiple devices for charging wirelessly, wireless to game, charge or even downloading. But is it a new thing? Well, according to Mr. Oz the Boss, a YouTuber once made a video about similar technology, uh, the likes of the mother box that broadcasts 10 watt of energy in all directions to charge any device that is visible. And also we've got the Wii Charge, which works the same, but all these two did not work because they are actually small industries. But actually with Xiaomi, a huge company like Xiaomi, we might want to wait and see of what it will give us. Right. Secondly, the wireless electric car charging rods. So it turns out Sweden has been testing wireless charging rods. So this has been actually a success. According to an article by Brian on the 25th of January, Sweden has been developing and implementing wireless electric rod rodding system that wirelessly charges commercial and passenger electric vehicles. So again, it turns out snow and ice do not affect the wireless charging capabilities. So when I'm talking about wireless, wireless, you think of coils and magnets, right? So these will be placed under the tart rod, which means they are going to dig the rods and then put the coils and the magnets under the rod, then cover them up. And also these are going to be monitored, monitored obviously by the computers, right? Let's talk about the Apple products, right? According to Engadget, Tim Cook, the Apple CEO, says um, there are now over 1 billion active users of iPhones. Wow, that is actually a large number. Well, that's not surprising at all, considering their ecosystem, that it will lock you up into the ecosystem and you'll be trapped and you cannot get out. I know some of you are now wondering, what is this ecosystem, right? Ecosystem is a multiple devices working hand in hand to make your work easier. You've got the Apple Watch, the iPhone, the iPad, MacBook, the pen, the speaker, and even Siri. So all of these work hand in hand to make your work easier. So yeah. Moreover, Apple records a record breaking of $111.4 billion earnings of revenue. Yeah, that is a lot considering that the Apple iPhone 12 was released last year on November. In such a small time, they've already reached $111 billion. But considering its services, they offer like the Apple Music, the Apple TV, ETC, it's actually a huge game. So every Apple user out there is making Tim Cook rich. Congratulations, your wallet is being sucked dry by Tim Cook. Yay! Okay. Last one, iPhone 12 Pro Max vs Samsung Galaxy S21 drop test. Remember the specifications in our last video? Go check that out if you haven't. Right. Smartphone companies these days want to up their game on their smartphone durability. Samsung uses the Vector Gorilla class and iPhone uses the Ceramic Shield class on their iPhone so that when you drop them at a reasonable certain height, not extreme height, your phone would not break but glass breaks right at a certain height if you break, if you drop anything that is glass it will break so according to a youtuber everything apple pro, pro both phones broke their glass at 10 feet the iphone 12 max with a ceramic shield shattered at the back and samsung telephoto lens and the samsung Telephoto lens cover in the camera module 
and the file glass shattered disabling the fingerprint sensor. If you want to watch the whole video of this uh, durability test, you can check it out on the link in the description. So that's all we have for you in this segment of 6 minute tech news. Okay, please don't forget to subscribe. See you on our next video. Cheers.